Into this video, I'm going to show you how you can transform HTML code in your Power Query cells into text and keep the format because the solutions I have seen does not keep the format and I need to keep the format. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's get started. Okay, so here we have a file. Uh, it has a post ID and then it has uh, one of my videos. And then here it has the HTML that I have on the website for the video you can see here. So I want these text in the same way, but I want it without the HTML tags. I want it as text and I want to keep the formatting. So how do you do it? Again, what I found online does not keep the format. We need to keep the format. So we're going to do like this. We're going to go to add column, custom column, and we're going to convert the column or have Power Query read what is on the column as a web page. So read the HTML text, uh, put it like that. And then we get here nested table. So this is like if it's reading a web page. So be careful now how you unpack this because it will make all the difference in the world. So the first one you can unpack only data, that's fine. But afterwards you need to unpack all the columns. Otherwise you will not get the information correctly. So you're going to open up. And then you're going to open this up, everything. And then you're going to continue until you don't find any more children to open. So go, go, go. Here is another children. We go. Another children. And that's it. There are no more children. Now, if you know a little bit about HTML, you know the HTML page has a header and then it has a body. So the header is like this scripts for analytics and all types of other stuff, the content of the web page is always on the body. So here, uh, we're going to filter out the head because we're not interested in that and just keep the body. Okay. And now everything is on the lowest level. You can see it here, text. Three. Text 4 is completely empty, so text 3 is the one that contains our uh, code, you will see it, which one it is. So I'm going to click that and then I'm going to get this one, sorry, this one, this one, and then our text 3. Right click, remove all the columns. And as you can see, we're going to get rid of the nulls, don't want them, or maybe you want them actually, maybe you should keep them because it might do what we want. Anyhow, so as you can see, what it did, it was, it was unpacked every line on a row, which is wonderful. Now, if we go to transform group by, and then you group by the post ID and you know whatever it is that you want to, that is common, and then just do count rows for now, don't worry about it. And we're going to change this a little bit. So we're going to do table combine. We want to combine the rows, right? And our text was in a column called text three. And how do you want to combine it? We want to combine it with a line feed or line break, right? So line break in Power Query language is LF. And then this is not a number anymore. This is type text. Doesn't matter if you don't change it, but why make it complex? Let's see. Uh, I always make the same mistake, it's not table, it's a text that we're going to combine. And look at these. It is actually giving us the HTML text and keeping the line feeds or the line breaks, which is exactly what we wanted. So that's how you do it, folks. I will see you again in the next video. Bye.